can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about how to take care of your wig when it is on its last leg. Like you know how you have the synthetic wigs and they begin to get kind of ratty and the ends are just kind of dry looking. Well, you don't have to throw that wig away. So I have found that in treating your synthetic wigs like they are your hair and using the products that you would normally use on your natural hair really does help to revive your wig. This wig here is the popular penny wig that everyone is talking about, everyone is looking for, and it is sold out everywhere. And Penny, I love her, and so I want to keep her for a long time, especially since she's so hard to find. So I found a way to make Penny last longer and you can use this on any of your synthetic wigs. So if you're interested in seeing how I do it, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first thing that I do, you don't have to spend a lot of money because after all a synthetic wig is not a lot of money and so you don't want to have to spend a lot of money on the products that you have to use to take care of it. So I use this product right here which is the Cantu Natural Hair Co Coil Calming Detangler and I will show you what I do. It is just a liquid formula. Um, it smells good. It has shea butter in it. As the only items that you are going to need to revive that wig is a water bottle and mine is just filled with a little bit of conditioner in a, just plain tap water. The Cantu coiling detangler, a clip, and a towel just to wipe your hands. Just those simple items is all you need. So what I like to do is I just start off by, and most of the area that gets tangled is usually at the bottom. So I just separate the hair and I kind of get the area that is tangled and the rest of it I just put up. No special way to do it. <laughs> just put it up. Okay. And I just concentrate on small sections at a time. Now this hair, if you can see, is kind of tangled and it looks a little dry and a little frizzy. So I just take my water bottle filled with the, the conditioner and I just spray and I don't even need a comb or anything. I'm just using my fingers just like I would on my natural hair and I am just taking that through from end all the way down to from root to end. Then I take the coiling detangler and I just spray a generous amount, just enough to wet the hair, concentrating on the areas that are frizzy. And once I get a good amount of that on, it's going to kind of feel creamy, like you have lotion or something in your hair. So it's going to be kind of creamy. And I just work it through like with my fingers become like a comb and I just work all the tangles out. That's how much hair that came out. And everything is detangled. All I do is just take the hair and I just braid it just like you would, just plait it. And when I get to the bottom, I like to just twist it around my finger in a coil. And I put a little bit more of the detangler on it and I just twist it. And any hairs that are loose, you just pull them off. And this is a good time that you can trim 
the ends as well if you need to. And so your coil is gonna look like that. Now I don't go all the way to the end. I usually stop about oh, two inches from the bottom. And I probably will go and cut a little bit of that hair at the bottom just to snip off the end so that it's um, it gets the little rough edges off. Let me get my scissors real quick. All of this hair feels good, so I don't feel like I need it. Most of the time it is going to be underneath that gets tangled, I guess, because that's where the friction is the most. But the way that I do care for my wig is I do spray it with water like every couple of days. And since this has conditioner in it, it just helps to soften the hair and I just run my fingers through it and just kind of give it some love. That's all you're doing. Even though it's synthetic hair and it's not real hair, it's still a blend of some kind of a fabric or some, some sort of substance. So it still needs some sort of care, just like you do with your clothes. Silk and cotton and rayon and polyester all have certain care. So synthetic hair doesn't mean don't, don't care about it. So I find this works for me, and it has helped me to keep my wigs for months, almost years. So I'm just going to do the same thing over here. And this stuff costs $5.99 at your local beauty supply. So it's not expensive at all. And this penny wig cost me, I believe, $19.99. So for $25, I have this wig for months. Got a hangnail. Okay, I have my Denman brush. And I am just going to brush through the tangles. I guess you could use a brush to really get the tangles out. And it also helps to work the product through. I just hope that I don't, I'm not pulling out the curl pattern. That's the only thing I was really fearful of. But we shall see. I do have one backup penny just in case things don't go right. <laughs> Whenever they are in your local beauty supply or online available, I recommend that you grab as many as you can because they are hard to come by. Ooh, it feels really good. With the brush, that might, that might work. We'll see how the curl pattern is though. I will say using the brush does detangle it a lot quicker and if you look here it looks like you still have a curl pattern Okay, so it's good to do this at nighttime, and then all you have to do is when you take your wig off, just leave it braided, and then in the morning when you put your wig back on, 
you can just undo your braids and you will have silky texture hair so I will come back tomorrow and do that the other thing I wanted to talk to you all about was um, how to make your wigs look real um, and more natural there are a few things that I like to do and um, since I'm naturally curly I can leave my edges or my leave out and I just kind of blend my leave out with the hair and I just put gel here but um, sometimes you know when you're leaving your leave out out you don't have um, enough hair to really like cover the bands and to make things really look seamless and more real so there is a little trick that I do like to use I like to take my sharpie and wherever the hair seems like it's kind of thin and sparse a little bit that is where I like to take my sharpie also it's good for if you have gray like I do I have been gray since I was like 16 years old in certain areas but um so I've always had to color and my hairline always goes first but I just go in and I just use my sharpie wherever I want to fill in my gray first and then also wherever your hairline might seem like it is a little thin and you want it to look a little bit thicker because you can't go from a thin hairline to a big thick wig so you want everything to kind of look like it blends together right so I just go in with my sharpie and that is a little trick that I like to do. I might have missed some areas because I really can't see um, without putting my mirror and covering my face. So hopefully I am getting all those areas. And then I just use any kind of gel and I just smooth my edges back and blend them in. And that is how I make my wigs look real. And I'm telling you, I get so many compliments on my wig and so many people think that this is my hair um, and I just let them think that I mean I don't if someone says well what type of a wig is that or what kind of weave is that I'll tell them that it's you know it's a wig but if somebody just says you have pretty hair I don't say oh thank you it's a wig I mean uh, the whole point of having a wig is not for the world to know it's to try to get away with your hair looking like it's your hair I mean that's to me that's the whole point of it so um, I'm all I'm always looking for ways to make my wigs look natural but anyway that is what I do and that is just a few things that I just wanted to share with you all about your wig and tomorrow I will come back and I will unbraid these and we will see what we have okay so there will be a part two good morning guys okay so yesterday I braided four braids two on each side and we are going to take it down and I will show you how this hair goes right back to like new oh yeah before I go any further let me just say I apologize now for this green background but hopefully you won't be seeing this green background I'm gonna try in my editing program or software to um, change the background colors supposedly if you use a green screen you can change your background colors to different colors so if you don't see the green then that means it worked if you do see the green then I apologize because this is not a color that I would choose as a background um, I just took that down and if you see the hair I mean you can't feel it but it is soft and it is not frizzy anymore and it is back to feeling like the rest of the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all down. And I have not washed this hair, not one time. Um, I spritz it with my conditioned water and I use wig spray to help freshen it up and make it smell good but I have not actually submerged this whole wig in water I'm afraid to personally but um, I might have to eventually I don't know we'll see if if I do I will do a tutorial on that 
So here is this side. And so now you can see everything is looking back to normal. And I have two more over here. And the hair feels really soft too, so. Okay, I'm gonna move up and let you see. So that's what it looks like and it feels amazing. Okay, and I just fluff it out with the rest of my hair. And so yeah, I think it worked. I'll turn around and let you see the back. I think it worked. It feels amazing. It does not feel like a wig. I mean, literally, y'all, if somebody walked up to me and started feeling in my hair, they would think this was my hair. It feels so good. So this penny wig is the bomb.com, and I really hope that Otray gets more of them in. But uh, I will be doing a tutorial on another wig that is kind of a dupe. I found like two dupes for a penny, and I will do a tutorial on those. Um, in the next day or so and let you see what other alternatives are because I really do not like doing tutorials on things that you can't get or they're not available. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.